So, unfortunately, in the last video, a um, small fire broke out because I started it and watched as they burned. But so are Corporal and Bugle Bugler from the German King German's Legion. They're a bit frazzled and a bit shaken up, a bit scared. So, for this episode, we're going to be drawing an officer just to um, apply some order into the regiment again. And something I'm pretty sure I haven't done yet on this piano is I'm going to base my officer off of, like, this Italari figure. He is an officer that I sharpied uh, to colour in ages ago. And we're going to see if we can, like, mimic his stance. It's just that we're going to, like, flip it around a bit. So he'll still be facing us, but his sword will be like poking that way so i'm just going to quickly go over the colors you will need but also if you have seen the previous two videos then it's basically the same exact colors obviously outline pen skin tone as usual oh horizon gray gold blue dark green dark gray metal gray red and finally like a, a royal kind of rich red. I guess this is like a purpley red, I guess. My camera is kind of making this look shady, so you can't really see, but you'll see you'll see the ink color. So for this time, we're actually going to start off with the trousers instead of the boots as we like normally do. So then dome it off at the top. Normal creases shoes maybe some creases around the knee then those strange like button things you see on the trousers it's the same as usual with the torso bring the neck down the collar is just one piece then there are these like straps on his shoulder just like that where the arms just start to come down the cuff as usual then a similar arm to what we did in episode 2 where it sort of bends in the middle and so then on the body there is just like one one strap going down his waist then he has like a fancy ribbon so I'm just adding some creases in, but then, like, a bit of it goes down the side of his leg as well. Uh, one line up, but just not in the middle, slightly further to the left. So buttons all the way up the side of that. Then these funny rectangular shapes. More buttons down the sides as well. And then, of course, there's the, like, oval-shaped uh, buckle on his, um like strap so this man in particular is a major so the major would have like he has four stripes with like a the image of the crown on top so he's a very fancy man head sun's screen and then there's the like ordinary shackle shako i don't know why i keep on saying shack shackle so the detailing is the same as it was on the two prior to this and then we're going to give him a face so there's the hair down his side now majors will be quite old so i'm going to give him like a fancy mustache it's more of a french mustache but hey ho so officers had cutlasses and fancy swords so we're gonna start drawing him once so it's almost like a, a moon shape and then there's the pommel and then the sword is two parallel lines going straight just at the top they start to bend just slightly so that was the outline done, so now we can get on to my favourite part, which was the colouring. Shoes, trousers, then this is what I was talking about with that fancy red colour. So it's like a ribbon 
uh, across his waist. Also, I know how all the everyone says how they all, the troops wore bright colours so they could distinguish friends or foe. Do you think that actually like all the um, the general of the army walked into the tailor's shop and was like really really horrible and mean to the tailor? So the tailor instead of making the general all these really really dull colours to blend them into the background they made him really really bright colours so that he was more likely to die and attract bullets so that would have been a funny story so just finishing him off adding the blue this person wears quite a lot of gold actually the cutlass blade is grey skin tone, hair colour, shackle and then finally that dark green kind of dark murky green color so that was the officer um i think that's probably it for the king's german legion we're going to be doing some different regiments now so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial um see you soon goodbye